I think my queer personality, it just reflects into the clothes I make. Like my love for colors and my love for everything wild and crazy. Whenever somebody sees a piece, they can easily say that it's from Param Sahib. I am from Delhi and I am a fashion designer and a multimedia artist. We look at brides, bridemaids who want to wear something colorful for their mehndi or sangeet. People who want to stand out of the crowd. Apart from garments, I do a lot of funky handmade glasses. So now I'm actually making glasses for a friend wedding ceremony. Very quirky glasses with embellishments and 3D things like we do. If I talk about the challenges of being a queer Indian designer, there's always a thin line that I need to always think that I need to be separated from my label because people come with uh, so many prejudices that they don't want to wear a certain kind of because they start associating the person to the brand. So my parents have always seen me as a wild child. They have seen me making choices of not going and playing sports that they would associate with men rather than, you know, spending times at home and making clothes for my babies and you know, going out and picking up scrap fabrics and creating those small small things at home. So this is like a transferring process. So we use petroleum, oil and local dye. These lines eventually will be washed away and these are just basically like marking line for us to guide where do we embroider it. When I told them that I want to do fashion, my mom has always been on my side and she has always like supported, agreed and wanting me to explore what I want to choose. My dad wanted me to take up something more conventional but I think with time that he has seen that I've kind of built my career and moved from strength to strength so he has also gotten that confidence and he's pretty happy now. My queer side of me has gotten me into a trouble a lot of times. When I started making these queer illustrations where I had incorporated these Sikh character with turban and you know like two men making out where I posted these artworks on social media a certain people from the, my Sikh community were not happy about it and one fine morning there were like 50 60 angry young men standing with swords and curses abuses they broke down the walls and they threatened the people who were working at that point that we will kill your boss and all that luckily i was not there in the office that day and then i had to eventually apologize to them i was just a simple boy at that point, I didn't know how to react. It took a span of six months to come to my office to get the people back because they were also scared, you know. I think we are still years behind accepting what actually needs to be done for the community. Even if in 2018 we legalize the whole thing, but still we have a divided society. We don't have enough representations in the companies, in government sector, in jobs and opportunities and everywhere. I think understanding my sexuality and how I want to address myself took a long time for me to come to a point where I was comfortable in my own skin. My parents think that I might just become normal. They are coming on the same page. They look around, they know the kind of people exist and they're finally, you know, opening up their minds and accepting it. So I see the change happening.